One, two, three, four, five. Five adventure hacks in five seconds. Number one involves the fingers. When you gauge the position of the sun relative to the horizon, each finger in between the bottom of the sun and the horizon is 15 minutes. So in this case, I have three finger widths in between the sun and the horizon. Therefore, I know the sun is going to set in approximately 45 minutes. The next hack also involves the sun, but this time we're talking about a navigational hack involving a wristwatch with hands on it. In the southern hemisphere, what you do is you line up the 12 o'clock position on the wristwatch to the sun, and then halfway between the 12 o'clock and the hour hand is north. So on this, that would be roughly about the four o'clock position here. And then that's gonna give you your direction. In the Northern Hemisphere, you do the opposite. You line up the hour hand with the sun and halfway between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock position is the north direction. Tip number three involves preserving your night vision. If your eyes are already adjusted to night and you anticipate a bright light coming up, for example, say you're at home, you have to go run to the bathroom and you know when you turn on that light, it's gonna blow out your night vision. So to prevent yourself from stubbing your toe or tripping on the way back to bed, you cover one eye or close one eye. First of all, take your sunglasses off. Why are you sleeping with sunglasses? Light's gonna come on if it's a headlight or a flashlight or just the light to the bathroom, close one eye. That eye will maintain its adjustment to the darkness. So when you turn the light back off, you have one eye fully adjusted and has night vision. And so you're not 100% adjusted to the dark, but you still have 50% adjustment, which is better than nothing. The next hack, number four, also involves the eyes. And this is an awesome, quick little trick that you can use to possibly save your GoPro phone, keys, or anything else you might have dropped in some water that you can't quite see. If you submerge your head and blow air bubbles out of your mouth while cupping around your eyes, looking over, you can actually trap air bubbles. And when you get good at this, you can trap an air bubble in each eye. And it's as if I'm wearing goggles underwater. The trick is to not blink or move too violently to pop those bubbles to give you the most amount of vision for as long as possible. But if it's just a couple seconds, you need to find a, a dropped GoPro, some keys, or any other item in the water, and you don't have goggles or any other means to look underwater, this hack could save your butt. And finally, hack number five. This applies to situations where you're either out of the country or you're talking with someone who speaks a foreign language or has a really heavy accent that you're having difficulty understanding. The key, once again, is in the eye. Maintaining unbroken eye contact with that person connects you on a deeper subconscious level and you will be able to understand what they're trying to communicate to you much easier. I actually found this out in college when I was working at an Indian restaurant. The cook had a really heavy accent. He spoke very fluent English, but his accent was so heavy and I wasn't that accustomed to his accent. But I found just as a matter of chance that when I maintained eye contact with him, somehow I understood exactly what he was trying to say. And I've tested this out in situations where the people don't speak any English at all. They're speaking a foreign language, but they're trying to communicate something to me and gestures are just not getting the point across. I find that when I connect with the eye, I can clearly understand what they are trying to communicate. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. They say that you can tell when someone is lying. If you look them in the eye, I have found this to be abundantly true in countless situations around the world. The best way to communicate with someone when there's a language barrier or a heavy accent, maintain that eye contact. If you enjoyed this video and found these hacks helpful, give me a thumbs up like. If you didn't, give me a dislike and let me know down in the comments why you didn't like it. Did you know them all already? For those of you who don't know, my name's Jesse St. Louis. I travel the world making adventure travel videos to inspire you to get out there, find your own adventure, and be infamous. Infamous.